Hey gamers, this is Liz Davidson from Beyond Solitaire and I'm on vacation this week, but I wanted to make just a silly fun video to have out for you. So what I decided to do was make a pronunciation guide for Pandemic Fall of Rome. I am a Latin teacher, so I speak Latin all day. And I figured that I would double check a couple of these pronunciations that are borrowed from Greek and then give you the best pronunciations that I can do on the board and on the cards because nothing says I'm smart like being able to pronounce Latin and I've been using this trick to convince people I'm a genius for years. So with some help from me, you can do it too. So basically what I'm thinking I'll do is I'll just go around the board by region and then we'll go through all of the cards. I will say I pronounce things in a very American accent. Uh, the pronunciation that I use is our best reconstruction that we currently have of classical Latin so it won't sound like church Latin. If you want any of that vulgar church Latin, you're just going to have to go somewhere else. No, that's a joke. All right, so let's go ahead and zoom in on the board and just go bit by bit. Let's just go ahead and start here in the orange territory. I'm thinking we'll just kind of move down and over. So this place would be Eboracum, Londinium, Gesturiacum. So one thing about Latin is that all the G's are hard and all the C's are too. So there's no nice and there's no genuine. It's all G and K. Gesoriacum, Magantiacum, Lutetia, and then going down, Bertigala, Lugdunum, Caesar Augusta, Narbo, Cordoba, Noa Cartago. So in Latin, a V is going to sound like a W. Um, think about it like this. A lot of times this V is actually printed as a U. So if you're trying to say Noa, like with a U here, it'll eventually turn into a W sound. Noa Cartago. Tingi. This is spelled Caesarea, but it would really be like Caesarea. And then let's kind of move back up the middle. So we have Cartago, Syracusae. So this Y, uh, if it's a word borrowed from Greek, it might have a Y in there, but it's an Upsilon in Greek. So Syracusae, Brindisium, Roma, Ravenna. I mean, you'd really say Ravenna, but that's just weird. That's like saying Barcelona and you're not from Spain. Let's just say Ravenna. Genoa, Mediolanum, you wawum. So say that five times fast. So this starts with an I, um, but it's in front of a vowel, so it's going to turn into kind of a y sound. So January um, would be Januarius in Latin, or like Julius Caesar would have been pronounced Julius Caesar. So we have you wawum, Carnuntum, Aquileia, Nerona, Patri. Atenai. So there wasn't so much a th sound in words like this. It's just like a super aspirated T, like Atenai, Philippopolis, Turas, Constantinopolis. And then these I actually had to look up as well because I didn't know if the vowels were long or short in Greek. But this one is Sinope. And this one is Kersonesus. So that CH you'd say like a K as opposed to a CH. Kersonesis. So I'm pretty sure I caught all of the spots on the map. Let's look at the cards. So here we have all these lovely cards that have lovely Latin words on them. So you'll have consul. A lot of people say council, which is really common, but consul would be the right Latin pronunciation. Mercator. Praefectus classis. Westalis, Regina Foiderata. That OE usually gets pronounced as a OI sound um, in our version of classical pronunciation now. So Regina Foiderata, Magister Militum, Praefectus Fabrum. And then on these fun little cards, we have Hic Manebimus Optime which they've translated for you, is here we will stay excellently. So these cards give you a translation. But we have hic manebimus optime. 
Alia Yakta Est. So this is a famous Caesar crosses the Rubicon phrase, the die is cast. Homo faber fortunae suae. So homo is the word for man. Well, one of the words for man, it's like kind of human. And that's where we get homo sapiens. Why Wictis? Woe to the conquered. This was allegedly said by a Gaul named Brennus. Probably his Latin wasn't actually that good, but it's a good story, so we're going to keep it. Wainy Weedy Weeki. You've probably seen it as Wainy Weedy Weechi or something like that, but if you're going classical with your pronunciation, Wainy Weedy Weeki. Carpe diem. Audentes fortuna you want. So fortune favors the bold, a fine Latin phrase. Do ut des, I give so that you will give back to me. This is actually like a uh, Roman, like I guess theological concept. Uh, the Romans believed that if you made sacrifices or offerings to the gods, then they would give back. So the idea was that the relationship with divinity was a bit more transactional. So that's normally where I hear this phrase, but I'll take it here too. Mortui non mordent, the dead don't bite. Mors tua, vita mea, your death, my life. Festina lente, make haste slowly. Si vis pacem, para bellum. So if you want peace, prepare for war. This actually showed up in John Wick a little while ago and I was very amused. And those are all of the phrase cards. So hopefully that was helpful. I figured I would just give y'all a quick tour of the Latin pronunciation so you could hear it um, from someone who does this professionally. And hopefully it will help you feel more confident playing this game and pronouncing the terms on game night. So thanks so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, maybe support me on Patreon, and most of all, happy gaming.